Okay, we're here at the beautiful Tree of Life in Patagonia, Arizona, Gabriel Cousins' home. So um, we're going to be making ice cream today. So I'm going to show you how to make the base of an ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and then uh, maybe play around with that. So you'll have the base and then you can just um, be creative. So what we're going to use for, for the ice cream base is um, cashews soaked for four hours. And then we have our um, coconut meat. So how many cups of that? About two cups of that. Actually, two cups of the cashews and two cups of the coconut meat. And then we're going to use just a little bit of the coconut water. Um, <clears throat> coconut water is about 1.5 in the, in the rainbow uh, green life cuisine. So we just want to use a little bit of it. Uh, we have our coconut butter. We're just going to use about two tablespoons of that. And we're going to have to use agave nectar. So this is definitely a party food. You don't want to be uh, indulging in this too much because it's going to be a phase 16. <laughs> um, and then we're going to have some vanilla just to give it some um, rich, um, sweet vanilla taste. And we always put a little bit of salt in our recipes. OK, so we have the cashews, it's such an easy recipe. Um, it's very quick and fast and just takes a Vitamix or any powerful blender that you can have. So I've already measured um, two cups here. So we're just going to put them into our Vitamix. And I'm going to add one cup of coconut meat. Coconut meat is a really great fat. And the cashews give it that smooth and uh, sweet taste. So this is two cups of the meat. And then this is just the most amazing coconut butter, which is actually the coconut meat and the coconut water mixed together. So I'm going to add about two tablespoons of that, two teaspoons of that, not too much. Well, I might add a little bit more just because I like this stuff so much. <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? We have the the agave, this is um, amber agave nectar. So the recipe calls for a cup and um, here at the Tree of Life, we really want to stick to low glycemic food so we don't start getting our body into those areas where we compost. Um, I'm just gonna actually do half a cup of the agave and then I use um, half a cup of the coconut water, that way it's just a little bit less sweet, but still sweet enough to be a party food. So here we go. I forgot my coconut water, which is okay. I used the other water. And then we have our Himalayan salt, which has all the 92 minerals. And what we want to do is just really put our intention when we dazzle it in because it is a crystal and it does hold our, our heart energy. So we just put love, blessings for everybody that's going to eat this ice cream. Okay, now the vanilla bean. So uh, for those of you that don't know how to um, use this vanilla bean, it's nice to kind of make it smooth a little bit. So what we do is we want to get the, the little seeds out of the bean. So we cut it and we, we kind of cut it open with a better knife, which I didn't get, but it still works. So uh, it has this this lovely mushy texture inside and those are actually the beans. They're, they smell really sweet and um, quite sensual actually. And then you just scoop it out with, with your um, spoon. 
stick it in there. Okay, so we have our beans and we're going to do a little bit of um, vanilla extract as well. Okay, it costs for um, one tablespoon. So it's right here. One tablespoon. Okay, so again, this is the base of, uh, of your ice cream and then you will be able to play around with flavor um, once the base is done. So I hope this mixes. We'll check it out. Okay, ready for noise? to it. Some of these wonderful um, concentrates like peppermint or cinnamon or chai. There's also flavored stevia now. This is like a dark chocolate stevia which has a really strong dark chocolate taste. So I'm going to put ginger in here and again it is a concentrate so you just want to you know be mindful and squirt a little bit at a time. I'm going to just do maybe three squirts. And I've um, pre-cut a little bit of, um, in a coffee grinder, I, I pre-cut some uh, mint leaves. So just gonna put some of those in there. And then you can have some whole mint leaves to just decorate with. Okay, so we're gonna mix it a little bit more. Now we go to the final version. Basically what you do is you, you pour the, the mixture there, you pour it into a, just a regular ice cream machine. And um, this, this ice cream machine, it took about 20 minutes to actually um, become ice cream and get that nice frozen texture. Um, one step that I did forget to mention is once you have that, you just put it in the fridge for a few hours and then you put it into the ice cream machine. It will just help it be a little bit more uh, firm. So we have our, our ice cream here. So this one also is ginger and mint. And what you want to do is just, you know, flowers and ice cream are just, flowers and anything are just beautiful. So. When you have friends over, just make it pretty. It's just part of, you know, edible flowers are just part of the food. And since it is a, a mint ice cream, you just pick a few whole leaves right here. Stick them on top so people know they're going to have a mint flavor in there. So here it is. Thank <laughs> you. 